So whether you wanna believe it or not, but sneaking alcohol on a cruise ship isn't as taboo as you may think it is. Even though it requires much more of a thought process now, more so than ever, as regulations on cruise ship get stricter and stricter. In the earlier days of cruising, it was much more easier than it is now to be able to bring alcohol back on board a cruise ship. And there are also much less restrictions than they are now, as new policies and cutbacks are being implemented by the cruising industry, which seems like a yearly trend at this point. So why would anyone want to try and sneak alcohol on a cruise ship? Let's be real here for a moment. We all know that the prices plays a huge part to this. Because even if we don't wanna say it, if you do not have an all-inclusive or a drinks package, then drinks on board can be really quite expensive. And what's a cruise without booze? I also want to mention that some cruise lines, especially the all-inclusive ones, are more lenient towards alcohol, and there are less restrictions to alcohol you can bring on board. As a matter of fact, it is even highly recommended that you do so. So don't even worry if you are an all-inclusive cruiser, this wouldn't really apply to you. But this video isn't targeted or even about all-inclusive cruises. Some of you are quite familiar with the fact that on an all-inclusive cruise, alcohol will be the least of your worries. We are actually talking about the ones that have some form of restrictions set in place or even corkage fees as it may be known. Being able to supplement your own alcohol on a cruise that is trying to squeeze every dime and get all the big bucks out of your pocket can also expect cruisers will be trying tricks and tips to limit their spending as well. So really in hindsight, sneaking alcohol on board can be a way to save you some money and enjoy some drinks without breaking the bank. But there's a but. There's always a risk and more so consequences to consider. Don't expect to get away scotch free with first of all trying to sneak things on board. At each checkpoint, there are security set in place to scan and find obscurities such as banned substances, sneaking alcohol and other things that are not allowed on board. You can also see yourself sometimes facing harsh fines and having your alcohol confiscated or you even being kicked off the ship completely. So ultimately, your plan can completely foil right in front of your very own eyes. And to those who plan to sneak alcohol, can really find themselves being embarrassed and ashamed in these moments. So it's really up to you if you want to weigh any pros or cons and try to save face of any embarrassment. So what are some ways that people sneak alcohol on a cruise ship? Now this is the fun part. But I must first say this, I do not condone any of these practices or going against the cruise guidelines and rules. So before anything else, it is always best you follow the cruise protocols. So here is what you came for. There are so called many creative ways I see people sneaking alcohol on a cruise, from using empty lotion bottles to books and soda cans. Some do actually board the cruise directly with some booze in their luggage. As a crew member, how we would normally see these things? are generally wrapped in thick clothing inside the checked luggage strategically placed in between some other clothes as well. But to be real with you, sometimes people do get away with this but it really just depends on how clever they can pack while others are way too obvious at times. So if you try to pack alcohol in your luggage for a cruise and it is then confiscated, yes, as a cruise member, we do make sure the guests are aware of this and then give it to the crew. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. We actually hold on to your booze until you claim it at the end of your cruise. But to also mention, some alcohol are actually easier to sneak and all of this depends on the size, how it is concealed and the packaging and so on. So what are the best type of alcohol that people can sneak on a cruise ship? Based on my very own experience, of what I've seen, it is generally any type of alcohol, as long as it is concealed properly. But the ones that can mostly get more leniency from the ship's crew is mainly wines such as red wines as they are not too strong to be considered spirits or too disruptive of the cruise bar operations. Like I said, it is not recommended to sneak anything on board, but this is just what I see all the time. If alcohol is what you want to bring on board, just don't be too greedy. Always try for smaller bottles and portion sizes. This way you can most likely expect it will be overlooked as the crew wants to see you having a good time, just more so in a respectable fashion. So smaller bottles and portion sizes are recommended as in that way you can most likely get your drink on board in a more successful way. So sneaking alcohol on a cruise ship can be cost effective and save you loads of money. 
but that is only if you get away with it. Just make sure you understand the consequences as well. If you haven't touched that like button yet, I implore you to do so now and leave a comment if you've ever tried to sneak some alcohol on a cruise ship, how you've gotten away with it or even seen others doing it. Also watch my next video that you may see somewhere here on the screen. It's Anik, your cruise employee and I'm out.